Here we go. Okay, so we're on the bottom of Ayin Gimel Omid Beis, around six lines up. All right. And we're talking about all these strange Agatha Gemara's of stories. I think, yeah, we left off right by the parentheses. Yeah, six lines up from the bottom. Simen Ka'afra, the Trelta, Turkisa, Akraba, Lusa. Yeah. So, um, six lines yeah. up from where? On which six one? Up, I'll, I'll... On Ayin Gimel Amid Bays. Amarab is six lines from the bottom. Amarab, 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 See, there's a parenthesis with the simon. Yeah, okay. So, Amarab, Abrahana. Um, Zimna Chada, one time, have a Kazlina be Midvara. It's going to Midvara. Bislavi Bahadon Hahu Taya. And I was going along with a Taya as an Arab. Uh, an Arab, uh, you know, merchant, 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 a merchant, what are, you know, like a, a merchant, an Arab yeah, merchant. merchant, traveling guy, to have a shokel afro, and he would take dirt, umayrach la, and then he would lay and he would smell it, bamar, and he would say, based on the smelling of the dirt, ha'archal aduch the plan, this is the way to go to this place, ha'archal aduch the plan, and this is the way to go to this place, right? Meaning, I guess if you needed to go get a coffee so he could smell the dirt and and he would be able to tell you which way to 7-Eleven or to Duncan or <laughs> he'd be able to tell you the different, obviously. I'm a that was just, we just read, learned another Parsha. With, with condom, the guy throws out sticks and figures out what's going to be the future. <laughs> the oh, so I, I, I don't know if that's what this is. Gun, you go that way. You know? <laughs> it's like a Vodazaro, you know? Yeah, you can smell the dirt. No, but this sounds like uh, you know, there are people that like for the like the winemakers, they could taste the dirt, different different yeah, style. Yeah, different yeah, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, I, I that's what I would think. Rachel was trying to make it a heebie jeebie. Um, we're all for this. We're all for heebie jeebie, though. So, um, yeah. Um. Anyway, so whatever it is, he was able to tell. How far are we from water? And he told us, give me some dirt. We gave him dirt. I don't know why he'd have to be at such a length of the story. Right? Okay. He said, based on the smelling of the dirt, that they were eight parses away from, from the water. Tanina um, Yavina lay. That's what we had this in all the cowboy movies. Oh, no surprise. Every cowboy movie they had, the Indian would go down and say they left two hours ago or just three, two days away from him. There were every cowboy movie had this. Um, they, they were not smelling the dirt, the, the, the Indian. They were smelling the soya. Whatever they were doing, it's in every cowboy movie that I've ever seen. Yes, they what they did something like with the dirt. Right? They did something with the dirt. That's what it, you're was, it, it wasn't yeah. in bla it was not in blazing saddles. <laughs> <laughs> ah, mamish. Okay, whatever it is. Yes, they did something with the dirt. That was not a that was not a cowboy. That was a satire on the state of mankind in 1979. That's what it was. The vehicle was Western, okay? Sounds, uh, <laughs> the, the bikini is here. Smile. I got a good smell for Bobby. That's good. The bikini is here. His mom is, uh, it's, <laughs> it's wild. Um, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so, okay, so whatever it is, he, he, they, so then they, Tanina Riavina, they did it again and they gave him more dirt. Amalon. And he said to us, the Barchikan Tlasa Parsi. Now we're three Parsis away. Right? So then Afghisle, he swapped it out to see to see if he would uh um to see if he's taka such a bucky. 
but lo yichilus le, but I wasn't able to do anything. Meaning he kept getting it right. So that's it. That's the end of that story. And meaning this Arab merchant, whoever it was, was a real bucky in dirt. Right? Fine. So Amr Ali, so then he said to me, um, I'm going to show you the mason from the Midbar. You know, the Kans Kla Yisrael died in the Midbar. Right? So Ozli Chazasinu, and he says he went. I went and saw them. But Damu commanded the Mivasmi. They looked like they were drunk. Right. So the Rashbam says because their faces were uh, shining. The Gonuwa Parked, and they were laying on their backs. Aviskifa Barche Techarmina, and one of their knees was up in the air. The Ayel Taya Tusi Barche, and that knee was so large. That it's uh, it was able to go on. He was able this this Arab merchant was able to walk under his knee kirochiv gamla while he was on a camel. Uskifa romicha and his spear was also standing up. Kolay nagamein didn't even touch him. That's how high up his knee were. His knee his knees were. Right. So from here we we learn a lot of things from the well from this whole story we learn a lot. Um, um Stamazai, the Gemara, the Toysis here says the Gonoa Parkid. I think from all this Gemara we're learning practical halacha. So the halacha says you're not allowed to sleep a parkid. Right? So what does that mean? So from this story, it's clear that a parkid means on your back. And but because um the Toysis asks on Rabbi Hanano, who says it's sleeping straight on your on your face, face down. Right? Meaning the only way he could ride under his knee is if you say that a parkid means that he's laying on his back with his knees up in the air. Okay, so that's Stama practical thing. Yeah, so so what is he saying, Tysus? Tysus is saying that when it says you're not supposed to sleep a parkid, it means you're not supposed to sleep on your back. Not that you're not supposed to sleep on your face down. The we say you're supposed to sleep on the side. I don't remember now. I meant to. I meant to look, but of course, I well, we don't know when they died during their sleep. How do we know they died at the end of their sleep in the middle? Maybe they no, 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 no. He's not turning the, around like no, the Rambam. No, nothing to do with them dying in the sleep. Just stam the the Taicha Parkid. That's all. The Taicha Parkid, right? We're going to walk Parkid. He was laying on his back, meaning he has he has to be tight back here. Um. I was gonna ask, say, same as Aaron. Like the raya is that that the halacha says you're not allowed to sleep on your back. Therefore, therefore, the Rebbein Chanal says it must be they slept on their front. Frak that, but, but the medrash tells us how they every night they went to die. They didn't go to sleep. They they went into a cave to die. We bury everyone on their backs. I, what I said. So therefore, what? What do you say? I, I would have assumed, if not for Tysus, that if someone goes to die, they're allowed to go to die on their backs. It's, it's they went to different. sleep in their cave, in their in their grave. Yeah, exactly. That's not what in their cave, in their grave. They did it when they went to sleep. No, they what? The second they woke up in the morning, they they should put on thousand film and then lay down in the grave. No, when they went to sleep. Sleep but, so. So how do you know when he died during his sleep? That's what I'm asking. No, you. but this has nothing to do with that. No. Um, this is just Stam. How do you teach? How do you teach? Um, um, Rashbaum's you... got a different answer, no? Who? He said the Rashbaum? Yeah. So what they, do you mean? They, they fell into a drunken sleep. Is this like because there was like they fell asleep because they were drunk? No, I don't know. I was probably saying that the faces were were shining like as if somebody who's drunk, right? But it's on Veganu a parkid. That, but isn't that all? Is, isn't the Gemara all it's saying is that 
is that that's the way they were buried. They were buried face up, which is, I think, based on this Gemara, that's how we know that we base we bury Mason face up. No? I think so. But then the Gemara is just, Tyson is just saying that, Tyson is just trying to having, he's just trying to prove that the translation of the word parked means to lay on your back. That's all he's saying. I think. He's trying to bring proof from this that you're laying on your back. So when the Gemara says that a person should not sleep on his back, well, should not sleep up parked, doesn't mean he shouldn't sleep face down, or doesn't mean that he shouldn't sleep on his back. Right? We say that it means, so for Tysus is proving this Gemara, that it means one should not sleep on the back, which is for sure the way we paskin. Right? I just don't remember. Is the reason why we say to sleep on your side because it's a machlaikis? Some say a part, like Tysus is saying, some say it sleeps on your back, and some, I mean, some say it means on the back, and some say it means on your stomach. So remember, we, we listen to both shot and we don't do it. Right, so that that I'm not sure about. Yeah. Okay, whatever it is, but that's that's an interesting practical thing from this Gemara. Then the next Gemara also, so four lines down, continuing. He says, "I cut off." So again, this Arab showed showed uh, Rabbi Rabbi all the mason from the midbar and where they were buried. So he decided he's going to take an artifact from them so that he could have some proof of what kind of tzitzis they wore. So Paski Chada Karna de Trelta de Charminawi, he says, I cut off a corner of the of the trelis of one of the dead people. Right? And then they would like, so like the Rashbam says, he could bring it from the Chachamim and they could, they could they could take all the machloksim about tzitzis and how it goes, and then they could use it as a proof, right? Um, but we couldn't move from there. I mean, they were stuck, like they were stuck, and they couldn't move. Omar Lee, so the the Arab guy said, "Dilma Did you take something from one of these dead people? So Adre, Adre, give it back. Because we've learned, meaning it's a, it's it's like a tradition. Anybody who takes anything from them, like Mistagile, cannot move. If you're holding things from them, right, it can't. Uh, you're not going to be able to move. So Mamela, you're not. So don't. So then you're stuck. So Azli, I do. So I gave it back. the Mistagile, and then we were able to move. They said to me, Kol Abra. Chamra. Every Abba, which is in reference to Rabbi Barachana, is a Chamor. And every, every, every Barachana is a fool. Right? Why did you cut off the tzitzis? You wanted to let everybody know whether we pass in like Beshamah is Hill. Right? Beshamah holds that you have uh, uh, four. You go with four strings and you double it over. And Basil says you do three strings. Right? And this is one of the areas where we pass in like Beshamay or Basil. So, Right? Well, you, you should have counted how many strings there were and how many Chulius. Chulius is the not, the not part of the Tzitzis. The not part of the Tzitzis, right? So you should have just done that. And that, and then, uh, I, I mean, I'm not sure why it would have helped, right? Because they wouldn't have believed them necessarily. Meaning, okay, but uh, fine. So that's um, that. But that's that's what he told him. He's a shaitan. Now, what did they do to the tzitzis of a mace? Oh, see that long tzitzis down the left. Be'etzim would be a gishmaka, I don't know if it would be gishmaka toysis to do, but that's the entire toysis, what it's all about. What do they do with the tzitzis of the mace? The toysis brings rayas back and forth. From this Gemara, it seems clear that they the mason wore regular tzitzis. Right? And then toysis says, but yeah, very fast, so let's just look at the beginning of the toysis. 
I pissy had a kind of the trelta. That's mashma hacha. Yeah, you see the toys is four lines down. It says mashma hacha. She yesh tzitzis lemesim that they put it tzitzis on mesim. But then he says the yesh litchos shall you nichnasim mechayim bekever kedam rav medrash. Right, they went. They died in the cave. She call erev tishabov. Are you halting kashen chayim l'soif kibrein? Every erev tishabov, they went into the kvarim. Right, so they went in, right? Because Tisha B'av all started from from the what's it called, Miraglim, from the Miraglims. This is all a. Uh, then Antoisus goes goes back and forth with Raya's yes, no. I think I think the popular mini. I think in Eretz Yisrael they don't put in a talus. They don't bury in a talus, right? In Chutzlaret, I think they make it. Uh, they make it puzzle, right? They make they put on tzitzis and then they cut off one corner. Isn't there a minog that uh, people that go to Kvarim don't wear their tzitzis out just for that reason that they shouldn't yeah. show the mason that they're yeah. not able to yes. that they can't be makayim the mitzvah? So you, what are you saying? So. Then, like you know, well, it's not just car. Anytime is, you're around, the minog is opposite what they found in the cave. The minog is that we collect talisim for the chevra and they cut off a corner before they wrap it or they bury it. Um, they apostle the tzitzis before they give it. To, they wrap a mace in it. Well, we won't wear tzitzis. Uh, we have wear tzitzis in because of loy glorosh. Because right. they ain't low amazing me out look. So, so that's a different reason why we how do you know? put our tits. How do I know? Because I learned brachas, that's how I know. How no, would you, you know? know what we, but it doesn't mean you know what we do, Lamai, sir. He's a coin. He's basically saying he's a coin, which is <laughs> um I think well Naftali is where's Naftali? Naftali would know. Jesse, I'm right here. What do I know? Yeah, anytime you're you around the mace, mace now? you what tuck you in your tits. Now with the tits, we cut a we 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 tuck in our, our tits. No, no. Not, no uh, what do you, what do, you do with the mace? What do you do with the mace and tits with the talus? We, we parcel it. We put a uh, uh, we put a talus on the mace. But we parcel the talus. What do you do? How do you parcel it? How cut do we the pop? corner off. You cut the one tzitzis off. You cut off. You break off. The well, guy's on the cover. Let them answer the question. No, they, I was they, there. They tie it. They tie it? They Hold tie on. It. I, have a, I have a question. My father passed away. Am I even allowed to wear his talus even? Oh, that's a good question. Yes, you're allowed to. Yes, 100%. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, but others, some I think have an issue with some things. Well, shoes, we know. <laughs> One second. Uh, trying to remember Nathalie, if it comes puzzle. I'm trying to remember if it comes puzzle when we have it, or they they just tie it. I don't think they cut it. It may come cut. I'm looking. I'm looking for the book. We cut. We cut the. Tits I have the off. book right here. <laughs> we book. cut the by my father. We cut the tzitzis off. You cut the. Oh, you did it by your father. So you cut the tzitzis off. Right. Right. Okay. Right. I hear. Interesting. Okay, that was based on the Hebrew Kaddish's. Uh... I actually have the, the, the. I have it written down all the menhagim. Oh, you continue. I'm going to look it up. Anyways, <clears throat> okay. Well, either way, that's the long tosis there about what we do. Not fine. Okay, let's see right there. Uh, okay, so then Omar Lay continuing with this, with this, uh, the tour with this Arab guy. Ta'achvilach Harsinai. Come, I'm going to show you Harsinai. The Bach, the Bach has these minor changes to the Gemaras. Yeah. Azli Chazi Dahajule Akrava. I went and I saw that there were Akravim, scorpions around Harsinai. The Kaima Kicham Richivarti. And they looked like white donkeys. Right? Okay. Shamati Baskal Shoimeres. And I heard a Baskal that says, Oili Shinishpati. Um that it, woe is to me that I made a shvua that um 
Then the Marshbam says he swore what? That the Klai is going to go to Golos. And now that I made a shvur, the Klai is going to go into Golos. Uh, I, now, I, I, we didn't try. Wait till you stop or should I interrupt you? Go ahead. You did already. So okay. go right as well. The towel should be made puzzle, rendering a non kosher by, by tying a, a regular knot at the tip of the tzitzis and by tying another slip knot in one of the four corners of the tzitzis and tucking it into the tzitzis into the corner pocket. If there's a metal atar on the, on the talus, it must be removed and returned to the family. That was right, we don't cut, we tie it. That's what I mean. That, that doesn't sound we, like it's puzzle. That's what we do. It's we made puzzle, rendering a knot right by, by by tying a regular knot at the tip of the tzitzis and by tying another knot, the slip knot, in one of the four corners. That's what uh, the queen's cover uh, 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 does. What did you say about a puzzle. pocket? What did you say about a pocket? They tuck it in to uh, I, here. I can, I'll show you on mine. It's all right. They, uh, they tuck it in. To this, they cut this open, this little thing, and they tuck it in here. I know, but how does that make a puzzle? I don't know, an extra knot. I don't know, maybe not a knot. They tie knots, it makes a puzzle. That's what they say. That's what they do. They you can have no knots, it it... and it won't make it puzzle. You can have a thousand knots, and it won't be puzzle. But uh... the right, so all you need is if it's be hanging there. All the knots and flips are, are, are medrabanan. He's going to do the knees when he gets up by Tchias to Mesa. Why do they make it puzzle again for a mace? I'm not sure why they make it puzzle. It's not really. They do it, I guess. They well, don't I don't them apologize to you. Yeah. All right. So, okay. Right. So, I'm sorry. I just was looking at the toys as I started reading it out loud. Um, <laughs> uh, that's the answer is Avi's kasha. Tosis answers your kasha, Avi, in the Ve'esh Loimar, about 20 lines down to the Tosis. Right? Um, he says, even though they have tzitzis, and, but they have, but they're potter. Okay, I don't know. Bottom line is, is like every other suga, we don't uh, The first line of Tosis takes care of that. You see, we don't give tzitzis to Mason. The first line of Tosis takes care of that. He says it's only because they went in alive that they had sisters. Um. Yeah, I hear. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, so now we're on to Har Sinai. So Hashem, whatever this means, Hashem is regretting that he that he made a shvur that he's putting Klai Yisrael into Golas. So he says, now who's going to knock off my shvur? So that's what was said when this Arab guy showed him Har Sinai. So he said, when I came in front of the Rabbanon, normally, again, call Abba Chamra. Anybody, all Abba, he's a Chamor. Call Barbar Khan a And every Barbar Khan is a fool. You should have said, you should have been made for Hashem's Shvua. Right? I don't know. <laughs> They're tining on him why he wasn't made for Hashem's shvur. I mean, Rabbi Bachana was, a, I'm sure, was a ganz choshiva. He wasn't a based in. Don't you need a based in to be made for a shvur? No, you could do you could do it from a chacham, no? Chacham <laughs> echad. Oh, just, they just called him a chamor. <laughs> right. Well, we're, we're going to bring that up now. Yeah. Right. That's, <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> To who saw our Dilmash Vuasa the Mabal who? And Rabbi Rahan, this part really doesn't make this is hard to understand. And he thought that maybe Hashem was referring to the Shvu of the Mabal. Meaning he didn't want to, to meaning the, the Shvu that Hashem is never going to bring a Mabal again. So maybe Hashem was regretting that one. So maybe he didn't want to be made for it. So Gamora says, uh, then the Rabbanon. And what about the Rabbanon? In Cain, Aili Lama. Then why would Hashem say Aili? Hashem should have been very happy with 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 that shvua, so it couldn't be. Okay, fine. Omar lay. So the Rabbi Chana said, "To achvilach, blui the kairach, um, kairach." I'm sorry. Come and I'm going to show you where they they swallowed up kairach. Chazi trey busy. He said, "I saw two cracks, baba kamafki kutra, and there was it was still smoking." Shokal. So the, the Arab took a some wool, 
ואמסינו, I don't know if that's Amsina or Amshina, but he put it into water. And he put them on the top of a spare. And he put them into those cracks. When he took them out, they were burnt. Amrali, so he told me, listen to what you um, listen to what you're hearing. And I heard that they were saying, Behind Badain is saying Moshe and his Torah are true, and they are um, liars, or whatever they make up stories. Amar Ali called Tlos and Yoimi. So then the Arab said, every thirty days, Mahadalu Gehenim Lahacha. Um, the the they get shook up in Gehenim to hear Kibasar Bikalachas, like meat that's in a pot. Right, um, meaning that they get, you know, they want to make sure they get burnt real well, so they get mixed. Ba'amri hachi, and then they say Moshe v'serase emes v'hein b'dayin. Moshe and Moshe and his Torah emes, and they're and he and they're the fools, whatever they're the liars. You can be mashma from this gemara that they were in Gehenna for a thousand years. I guess, but didn't they do tshuva? Didn't they do it says, tshuva? It says low meser. They never died. Right. So why? Because because they did some sort of tshuva, right? So, yeah. They korach low meser. I think is the pasuk. It's it's mefarish on a tehillim. Lo matzeich ne korach. Huh? These weren't the bnei korach. The bnei korach didn't die. They they got out because they said. Maisha Amis was Sirasa Amis before it closed up. But the blue eight Kairach, the ones who were swallowed, they said it too late. No. Oh, you tell me this is a different crew? This this is the Yeah, but they yeah, yeah, but they Kairak the Chuba. That's is right. But they Bene Kairak also died in the midbar. But not the yes, but, but not, not in this not place. In yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. right, right, right. Very good, Gershon. Um, so who was screaming, my Shem is for The people who were I guess. I think Gershon's right, yeah. It's Kairos Chavra, but his, the B'nai, B'nai Kaira, well, it's, what's that, does it say B'nai? No, no, you're local, right. No? right. You're right. So it just says blue egg, the blue egg, the Kairach. I hear so, that. Wait a minute. So who swallowed up the Kairach? Kairach and his whole crew of people that, that rebelled. So who was saying, my Shem is for Terence Everyone. Everyone who was swallowed and the sons of Kairach. The sons of Kairach said it first. That's why they were saved from being swallowed. So they weren't swallowed. Correct. The so other hundreds of people were. 250 people were swallowed? Yep, plus Kaira. So the other 249 were, besides Kaira, were, I'll say, and Kaira, 200, 250 plus Kaira are now saying for eternity, Moshe Amos was Sayyid Amos. Right. And they're, and they're and the and ones. They're, and they're in Gehenna the last thousand years. Yep, still there. Madrash brings it on Kairach and the parish. What does it bring down? A lot of things, but this is one of them. They learned from the Bnei Kairach. Because the Bnei Kairach said, Moshe Amos was Sayyidat Amos, and were saved from being swallowed, they all said it after that. But for them, it was too late. Right. Okay, it's hard to understand all these madrashim. You'll have different madrashim saying different things or whatever. We don't want to go down that road. Um. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. So let's see. So, uh, what are we uh, gonna... I texted someone that's uh, on the way to uh, to Tahara now. Okay. So you can take a picture and send it to him what they do. He said, but other chevers, this chever doesn't. Other chevers cut one string. The string that goes around. 
Ah, okay. That, that's... This cover, he takes he, he says he's going to take a picture. Basically, what I, with this foot knot and the knots, he, he's going to take a picture of it, and I'll send it to you. That's what everybody's own does. I'll ask right. my shver later tonight. He's been enough. The person died. Now he's becoming a model for your uh, for your phone calls. <laughs> That's an issue. It's to be a. It's uh, a uh, for him, I guess. Yeah, if I was, if I was, the, if I was that guy's son, I would take this guy from the chaver and throw him into the mikvah. You know, I'm sure, you know, and take a picture of a mace. Not take a picture and of a mace. So you can know palace. something for your shear. Learn how to learn, and you'll know something for your shear. Take a picture of a mace. Shem <laughs> Yerachim. Maybe he's, maybe he'll take before they put it on the mace. Before they put the towels on the mace. At least Martin makes a six pack. It'll <laughs> <laughs> look like the Rashbam's Mason. <laughs> I, I knew I, I knew Aaron wouldn't let him get away. <laughs> yeah, this was very enjoyable. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Omar Lee. Okay. <clears throat> Fight him. First, we have to waste time because you let your wife do a text from Siak about the corn in the middle of the shield. <laughs> take a picture of the corn. Can he take a picture of the corn? I can happily do that if you want, but I didn't think it was necessary, and I didn't think it was a crazy Shiloh. <laughs> hey, He's just making don't... a hackish now from corn to corner. <laughs> oh, very good. Okay, on that note, we go right. Amrali, ta'ach milach hecha denashki aro rikia adodi. It says, come, I'm going to show you where heaven and earth touch. Isn't there an ad for something like that? Like, like <laughs> where no, isn't there? Isn't that my Mashuga or is there an ad? For no, that? you're not. Mashuga. I don't know. My well, once we're talking about what it is, movies. but it's such a thing, right? Such like, a thing. yeah, for an ice cream, I think for an ice cream, <laughs> I never the pop culture using up my brain, never, anyways. So, he's going to show you where heaven meets earth, basically, right. So Shakusa, the Silta, Esnachta, the Kavsa de Rakia. He says, I took my Silas, my, uh, uh, my Silas, uh, not a Silas, Silta is a basket, right? And I put it, the Kavsa de Rakia, by the window of to the heaven, the window to heaven. Adamatslina, Isse Velayash Kachte. When then I davened, and then I looked for my uh, basket, and I couldn't find it. Aminale, I told the Arab, Right, who seems to know all the sides of the whole world? Ika Ganvi, right? Some Arab guy. Ika Ganvi, there must be crooks here. Amr Ali, he said, "Hi, Galgalad the Rakia, who the other? No, it's the world is going around in a circle, right? Just wait around and it'll come back, right? Not the Adlamachas. So I waited till the next day, uh, and Hacha Mishkachasla. I waited here till the next day, and then I found it, right? Okay, so." Ayan in the in the art scroll footnotes when he brings the gra the, of what exactly that the Arab is the come at the Yetzahara. And and you know Tyra basically along the same lines that we've been saying. Fine. Rabbi Yechanan, Mishtai, Rabbi Yechanan said over, Zimnachada Havaka is Lina Bisfinasa. We were going on a ship, Bhazina Nahu Kavra, and we saw a fish, Dafka Lareshim Yava, who that stuck its head out of the water. We damn in a Ketre Siari. And its eyes were like two uh, moons. The Sierra is a moon, right? Sierra could also mean winter, right? Venafut's Maya Mitarti Zime. And water was coming out from its um, nose. Ketre Mavri de Sura, like two Naharas of Sura, two rivers from Sura. Okay. Rav Safra Mishtai, Rav Safra said, Like a ha-ha. submarine. It sounds like a submarine surfacing. Even because it's spitting out water. Taka. Taka, maybe. Maybe they had. Uh, we had the Gemara. Oh, we had, we had Shlomo Melech. Yeah, right. Yeah, Shlomo yeah. Melech had a train or a whatever. So maybe maybe Taka. Maybe. Maybe he had yeah. Jules Verne written on the top of his head. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Then. Where's Aaron now? Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ravzav and Mishtoi. Reb Zavin said over Zim Nechada Hava Kazina Bisfinos. So one time I was going in a boat for Kazina Hu Kavra. I saw a fish. The Afke Lereshim Yom would stuck its head out of water. But have a carne and it had horns. The Chaka Kalei and it was chiseled out on it. Ana Bria Kalosh Beyam. I'm the the least of the Brias in the water. But Vina Tlas Mea Parsi, and I am three hundred Parsas long, which is very large. Vazlina Lapuma de Yasa. 
and now I'm going into the Leviathan's mouth. Meaning the Leviathan's <laughs> eating me. That's how big the Leviathan must be. So I'm a Ravashi. That's called the goat of the of the ocean. The Bechish of Isle Karni. When it, um, it, which has to go looking for food. And then it, and it, it has horns. So the way Rashbam says it is that it digs in the seabed, right, with its horns in order to get, I guess, the little fish out of the seabed, or out of the dirt in the bottom of the ocean, and then that's how it eats. And we saw a box to have a and it had in it, um, uh, you know, the treasure, the good old buried under under the water treasure. And it was surrounded by fish called a karsha. And then it went down on Tomit Bay's now, Bar Mairoi Lasuya. So it went down a Bar Amairoi, which is a very interesting uh, word, Amairoi and Amaira. Yes. The Brashbam says he's a, somebody who knows how to swim. Right, Some a swimmer. Bar Mairoi because of the halacha. They were the only ones that actually taught the kids how to swim. So that's why it's called Amairoi? Maybe. Taka was a Bar Mairoi. Um, it's really obvious thing the Yama Talmud, but you know. yeah. you're saying Yama Talmud, oh, that's not bad. Yeah, Amira swims in the Yama Talmud. Interesting. Um, uh, Okay, anyway, so he went down there to go down to find it. Yeah. So Virogash Uboi Virogash Uboi and the Rogash mean it's from, from Hargosha. They they realize what's going on. Uboi Lashamte Laatme. And they wanted to um to cut his thigh. Right? Vishoda Zika what what did he do? Meaning they were gonna attack him. Vishoda Zika Dachala. And he threw a bottle of vinegar, the nochas, and I guess because of the vinegar, they went away. Nofak Baskola, Amar Loya, Baskol came out and told him, My my Islahu Bahadi Kartalisa, the Davisu Durab, Hanina Ben Daisa. What are you doing with the, what are you trying to get involved with the the, the box of jewels from Hanina Ben Daisa? Tasida, the Shadi, the Chaltava. So Tchelis is going to be kept in it. Let Tzadikim la Alma da Asi for Tzadikim of the next world, right? Meaning, so basically, the Basco went out and said, "You don't deserve. You shouldn't be going in there." Right? Um, now, does is this a raya? That, what it mean? What does it mean by Tchelis? It means the legitimate Tchelis. I mean, is this a raya against? Against Tchelis wearers? I'm sure it could be seen both ways. There's a raya yeah. for and against. Why? It says for the tzaddike. This was special Tchelis, but regular Tchelis anyone can use. But this was being kept. What are you saying? For some reason, this was special Tchelis that was being kept for the tzaddike and the Um, it's kind of wild. No, but I, I, I don't know. Are you really going to twist it like that? <laughs> I don't know how to twist it at all. No, to me, it sure sounds like Trelis is not meant till the next world. <laughs> Even if it isn't, why is this being kept? So the beginning of Eilam Abba is, is Bias Mashiach. You say Bias now... Mashiach, you have Teiku. He'll answer where to get Tchelis from anyway. So he'll be able to make Tchelis. So this is I being kept for what? 
This Tchelis was in his chest, right? I'm saying this Tchelis was in his yes, it was box. hidden. It was so, hidden away. I'm saying, but that's that specific Tchelis. That means that no Tchelis should be should be worn. That's hey, right. That no Tchelis should be in this world. But how do you bring a raya? This is all a god. We don't understand what this means. We don't understand, well, but this it, one it seems pretty straightforward. Rashawn, you learned how you bury a mace from this Gemara. Right. And whether you put on tzitzis or not. Um, but anyways. Okay. Let's see if I have Yehuda Hindua Mishtoi. Rabbi Yehuda from Hindu. Right. <laughs> said over. Yeah. I don't know. I guess he was a different Rabbi Yehuda. Zimna Chada Havazina Bisfino. So one time he was going in a ship, Chazina Nahu Evan Tava, and he saw a good stone, a nice stone to have a Hadir La Tanina, which was Hadir also was uh, uh, Tanina, we said yesterday, was these uh, sea creatures or whatever it is that was surrounding it. Nachas Paramirai La So a, a swimmer went to try and find it. Also, Tanina Kabayla Mivla La Then came this big sea creature and wanted to swallow the whole boat. Asa Pishkansa Paskilereshe came along a Pishkansa, some sort of a female uh, uh, raven, right? Cut off his head. Safichu Maya Bahavodama. So then there was so much uh, the water, if there was so much blood that the water turned to blood. Asa Tini Nechavre came another Sea, sea creature, shock levitalule, and then it took the stone and it hung on the dead sea monster. Right? And then it had Triasamesin, it came alive again. So then it became alive, he wanted to go swallow the boat again. Then came a bird, not a raven, and doesn't say it's a female, this one. And cut off its head again. Shaklula who have tova. Then the this Amoira came and took the stone, Shadulis Vinosa threw it into the ship. Havahani Tsifra Malichi Badon. And they had some salted birds with them, Aisvinu Elayu. And he put the stone on top of those birds. He want, meaning he wanted to see if it causes but this stone causes birds that de- that are dead to become alive. Shaklua. And they came alive. They took the stone to Parchul and then flew away with it. Right? Okay. Whatever. I told her about it. Rabbi Yezer Yeshua Shahayu Bayim Besfina. Rabbi Yezer Yeshua coming in a boat. Rabbi Yezer Yashan Rabbi Yezer was sleeping. Rabbi Yeshua Nar Nar Nayor. Rabbi Yeshua was up. Nis Nazei Rabbi Yeshua. Rabbi Yeshua shook. Benina Rabbi Eliezer, and he woke up Rabbi Eliezer. Amr le Mazay Yeshua. Rabbi Ne Maz Nis Dasta. Why are you shaking? Amr le Me Or Gadol Reisaviyam. I see a big light in the water. Amr le Shema Einav Shal Leviyasan Reisa. Maybe you see the eyes of Leviyasan. The Siv Einav Ka'afa Fei Shachar. Its eyes are like the Afapoi, right? The eyelids of the morning. Meaning, it's they're so lit up. They lit, they light up like like the morning sky. So Amr Avashi. We're once going in the midbar. We had a we had a bit chunk of meat with us. We opened it up and we did nikur, meaning they took out all the you know the the what's it called Wings. the gidanosha and the vein whatever it was also. And then we put it on asev on 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 gray, whatever, on spices. At the Messina TV, when we were going to get wood, Cholam Atma, the, the, it became, uh, it had a Tchias the, the meat. The Tavinon, meaning, I don't know if it's Tchias but it became, it grew. The Tavinon, we roasted it. Ki Hadron, when we came back, the Basar, Tracer, Yarchi Shadon, we came back, a year later, Chazinu Lahanu Gumri Kamalachshi. We still saw the coals that we were that we did this barbecue with were still uh, going. When like we came in front of Meimar and told him this, Amrli Hahu Iswas Stamarti Hava. 
that those ace of those grasses were some samatri right and that which is something that heals heals uh, skin flesh sahanu gumri derismahavan these were coals of rice and wood right which stay lit for a very long time okay and Hashem made these big sea sea monsters. Hacha targimu arzli de yama. The targum is arzli de yama. For Yechonam Azel of Yasan, that's the Lev Yasan. Um, how do you say it? Amar Zel of Yasan. I'm sorry, what I left off in the middle. Zel of Yasan nochash riach. The Lev Yasan. Which is the anachosh that's straight, a levyasan anachosh a kalasan, and then there's a levyasan with a with a not with a uh, not straight snake. Shanemar b'yem who yifkad Hashem b'char b'hakasha. On that day, Hashem is going to judge with his big sword, right? And then the pasuk continues, levyasan anachosh b'riach, while levyasan anachosh a kalasan. So there's two types of levyasan. One is a male. And one is a female. Okay, and and the Rashbam says that one. Where's the Rashbam? Rashbam says that one. Um, it's a, the the female one, the curved one, goes around the whole world. Okay, well, so, well, the is not a snake. Cool. I don't know. So that is that. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, how we got to re remember all that from the Simon on I and Gimel Ahmed Bey I'm a guy on Ahmed Bey's on the bottom. I'm gonna remember the, all this, all these mice from the Simon. That's, that's right. That's right. <laughs> it says we're gonna eat from the Leviathan. So I'm assuming it's a fish. I think also Ma'am Loiza says that one of them uh, was like killed in the beginning, so they shouldn't reproduce. Yeah, it says that. Oh, so now we're going to get. Well, let's see the next Gemara. All right. See, Yaakov. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know if it takes away a real thing. I heard on the show a week ago about fish. It was, uh, I guess they used the word school of Pollock fish that was 30 miles across and five miles deep or long. And they said there was five million fish. In that one grouping, oh, yeah. where was <laughs> this? They are on the way to I don't know which ocean. They are on the way to a Kasuri Shakasana. Right. They were look. They were looking for more zone. They were making a package. <laughs> it, was, it said it was five million fish in in that area. That equals five million fish. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay, so yeah, okay, but we gotta see if this speechless. Big what? Speechless. Who? Speechless. I guess so. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how it all fits in with all this Gemara. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Simon calls Shaw. So the ocean is really very big and has lots of stuff in it. That's yeah, it's a whole, the, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, Simon calls Shaw Yarden. Some of you don't know. Call Masha Baraka, the Sparkle by Lamai. Whatever Shem created in this world, Zachar Nakeva, created as a Zachar Nakeva. Af Levyasan, Nachash Priyach. The Levyasan is a Nachash Priyach, which again, Zev, sounds like it's some form of snake. I don't know. The straight snake, or Levyasan, Nachash Akalasan. And the Levyasan was a, there's a female one. Zachar Nakeva Barum, and uh, they were created as a male and a female. The Mali and Skak and Zelazeh, if they would, if they would talk and be Niskak and Zelazeh, they would have relations. Machriven Kol Olam Kula. I guess that's where he got it from, uh, Michael, right? It would be Machriv the whole world. Ma Asa Kadosh Baruch Hu. What Hashem do? Sirius as a Zachar. He was Masaris the Zachar. He uh, he uh, castrated it. Right, Barag and Nakeva, and he killed the Nakeva. Umelcha la tzadikim la sedlove, and he salted it for the tzadikim la sedlove, like we know the Levyasin, Sudas, Shalavyasin, Shanemar, 
Baragas a tanin asher bayam, and he killed the tanin that was in the the sea. Yeah, maybe I I have no way proof for what I'm saying, but maybe things that were made before Martin Tyra, maybe the halachas don't apply to them. And this was salt. This was salted way back. Flam had a deep freezer way way back, and it was <laughs> was the female that was salted. Because he said that that one was the one with Horrocks, so and that was the one that was salted. Yeah, because the other one's still alive. Yeah, uh -huh. why? Why did? Why did he? If he, if he saw us one, why did? Why did he have to kill the other one? I mean, the whole the point was that they shouldn't be uh and Zelizer, right? So then, <laughs> either saw us one or kill the other, and they're not going to reproduce. Um, he wanted to make yeah. sure, so he also yeah. shot it. <laughs> Maybe yeah. maybe it was worried if Leviathan would be alive, it would make it would do it would make damage in the world. Even didn't one. We, didn't we have a Gemara someplace that it says, "What does Hashem do all day?" Like I think it was where he was talking about the Shidukim, right. and it says there's one hour of the day where he just plays with Leviathan. Very good. We're getting up to that. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna get up. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna get up to that. Tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get up to it. Yeah. Tonight or tomorrow's? No, I tonight? was. I did it today. So yeah, okay. tonight. Um. Um yeah, so let's see let's see the whole Gemara here. Uh Vaf Behemus Baha wait a second. Vaz the Levi Shana Yav Hargas in Vya. Vaf Behemus Bahari Alif. When it says in the Pasuk Behemus Bahari Alif, Zakhar Nakeva Baram. Um, Hashem created males and females, Vimali Niskok and Zelazem, meaning in the, the even the animals that are in the mountains. Yeah. And if Hashem would have let them be together, Makriven Kol Olam Kula, Maos Hakadosh Baruch Hu, Sirus Hazacher, Vetzinen on a keva, he would hear he was Masaris the Zacher, but he cooled off the the woman. Bishamra le Tzadikim la Sadlava, and also he he was Shamir for the Tzadikim la Sadlava. Shenamar he ne na koicha b'masnav ze Zacher ba'ina b'shriri vitnoi, and its power is in the stomach. So in the cave, that's referring to in the cave. Rachamim, he had to kill the he had to kill the other one because he didn't want them to have beer with anybody else, any other fish. Right. Well, well, let's see. The Gemara is going to discuss it now. Why he did one thing to one and one to the other? Let's see. So Gemara asks, "Hasam nami l'sarsi l'zachar v'sini in the cave? Why didn't he there also be masaris the zachar by the fish and cool off the female? So he said, "Dog and pritzi, fish are prutzim." Right, and that would not, it wouldn't work, it, it would fight through being cooled off. Okay, we love it. If want to do the opposite, kill kill the male and 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 sterilize the female. Salted females are better, taste better, whatever that means. Like Avi just said, Hashem. Created the Leviathan in order to to play with it. It's not derech eretz that Hashem should be playing with a female fish. Whatever. So, okay, so Hashem is a male. That's what seems like. That's yes. That's what it seems like. Ich weiß nicht. Yeah. So we're asking, in a cave. Why don't he also? Why didn't he salt the female? Why do you leave the animal? By the behema, he left it alive. By the fish, he killed it. So, kavar malicha maili. Salted fish is good. Basar malicha loy maili. Salted meat is not good. I guess beef jerky. Fish jerky is a lot better than beef jerky. Yeah, fine. Vamara. The, the actual it changed in our time. Maybe the Messias. No, now we're getting into that cured fish thing, no? Yeah, but still, beef jerky is better than beef than fish jerky. I don't know. It's got to give it some time for this cured fish, Michigas, to take hold. Right? <laughs> I'd say that smoked salmon is probably a lot more popular than jerky in general. That's, you mean, in the veld? Yeah. Probably. They've been serving lox. And and herring lox. is a pickled fish also, you know. That's yeah. true. That's true. Very good, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Said like a true svari. Yeah. 
Bishash, you know, Rabbi Shlomo's famous line, Rabbi Shiyakov. What? It was before you guys' time that saved the whale. There was a big thing to save the whales. So Rabbi Shlomo used to say, he says, the Veldzak saved the whale. I say, save the herring. Right. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, he, well, he I wanna, loved the I want a, I want a magnet from my car that says that. <laughs> They have too many whales there now. They saved us. Yeah, so send, send a few dollars to Greenpeace. Yeah, okay, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. <laughs> okay, so I'm reviewing them a rap. Yeah. The Shasha Bikish Control liberates the island. When Hashem wanted to create the world, I'm a lawyer, the Sar Shalyam. He told the guy in charge of the ocean. <laughs> Open your mouth and swallow all the water in the world. Um, meaning so that there would be dry land. Says so enough that I could swallow my own water. I meaning he was having a hard time just keeping up with whatever original job he had, whatever that means. Miyad bought by Vahargoy. So then Hashem kicked him and killed him. Hashem, with his koyach, split the ocean. And with his tfuna, mochatz rahav, he, he, he got rid of rahav. Yeah, okay. We could hear from this, that the sar of the ocean, his name was rahav. And if it wouldn't be that the water would cover him over, ain't called Bria Yechailulamit Nobody would even be able to stand near his breath. Shanamar La Yirovala Yashkisu Bachol Harkochi. Kemayim Liyam Mechasim. Al Krikli Liyam Mechasim Ella Lesora Shal Yam Mechasim. Okay, fine. Bomber of Yudah Marav, Yardin Yoitza Mimaras Pamias. The, the Yardin comes out from the, the Ma'ara of Pamias. That's the that's where the water comes from the from the Jordan River. And it goes through the Sivchi Sea and the Tveria. and it goes down to the Yamagodal. Muskagal and it keeps going down until it gets to the Yasan's mouth. It's, it has aftacha that it's going to the the Jordan River is going to go into the Lyosan's mouth. Which yam is the Yamagadu? I have no idea. I don't Yardin know. goes to the Red Sea, no? That's the Mediterranean. It's got to be, it has to be the Mediterranean based on. Uh, it doesn't. Just the geog- Red sea. It says to the Mediterranean. It says in front of the Mediterranean in our school. It's guy, I mean, it makes sense geographically that it's the Mediterranean. The the Jordan doesn't flow into the Mediterranean. It goes from the Kinneret down to the it goes Dead down Sea. Down to the Red Sea. Yeah. The Dead right. Sea. So I, I'm Red saying, sea. but in that area, it must have must have changed. Something must have changed, I guess. Right. But that's written by the behemoths of the Harari Elif, of the thousand mountains. It doesn't say that by the Leviathan. Ela Marava Barula, Amos, Behemoth, Bari Elif, Betuchas. When is it that the behemoths that are in these thousand mountains will be have faith? When the the Jordan River goes into the mouth of the Leviathan, I guess then they have uh, confidence that all is good. Um, yeah, okay, it's late enough, I guess. We'll continue with these Gemaras tomorrow, Bez Hashem. One more day of this. And then, uh, yeah. Um, okay. Good Gemal.